This, this is really good advice. So, so as you think about, I think you're going to do some real consulting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So as you begin to think about the presentations that you're going to give to clients this semester, I want you to keep two things in mind. So preparation and managing the meeting. Preparation and managing the meeting, okay? To cons to, so to consult effectively requires an approach tailored at least somewhat to the client context, okay? So the better you understand your client, the more likely you will be able to provide a effective solution, okay? solution that will be effective okay so we need to understand some basic factors about our clients before we can consult or we can give them good advice okay this requires some preparation okay we'll talk about what that means uh, the topic of preparation should be considered as a real critical point in consulting maturity uh, too often we have consultants that engage with clients without sufficient preparation right? Right. just show up boasting about their industrialized solutions, what they have achieved in projects elsewhere, and their list of customers. I'll tell you this, the consultant who shows up and shows you all their clients first, run away, right? Don't use them. Because if that's all they have to show you is a list of clients, it's not solution oriented, right? It's also likely to be in breach of confidentiality in some cases as well, right? Uh, but Clients expect us to be prepared to address them intelligently in the context of their business and their industry, okay? So a mechanism that allows them to judge very early on in the engagement, uh, the caliber of the consultancy, the caliber of the consultant, and the applicability of the advice to follow is your preparation, okay? So if your competitor is better prepared, you're gonna be going up against competition. Every time you go to a customer and you pitch, you're likely gonna be, they're gonna be considering other options, not just you, right? Sometimes it'll be one-to-one, -one, relationship oriented, but oftentimes they are asking a lot of people for advice and seeing who gives the best, who has the best industry expertise, best value proposition, and the best price as well, okay? This is great, this is exactly what we mentioned, like the first two classes were like, you know, do your homework ahead of time. But when we talked about when Grant was up here, I said, one of the things he did so good was he researched the iron and steel industry like crazy before the first meeting with the client. And he walked in, he could speak their speech. And we're gonna to get to the second piece that's bringing the right people to the meeting. That's yeah. the second piece oh, we'll get okay. to here in a minute. So if your competitor shows up, they're better prepared, uh, they're more client oriented, they're more genuine, they're very focused on their solutions and outcomes, then you may get outperformed and they won't use you, okay? So we often face a practical limitation in these conversations that is time, right? You have a limited amount of time for which to showcase yourself. So what should you do? Oftentimes you're asked on short notice, come tell us what's wrong with our business, right? This is gonna happen with your client projects. You're, you don't have a lot of time. How long is this semester? Three, four months? Yeah. You're not gonna have a lot of time on your side. You don't have months and years to get these things done. So basic preparation, okay? Basic preparation for a client meeting addresses the, the must-know elements before engaging in a credible discussion with a client. This is basic. You gotta do this every time you walk in the room, period, okay? So the number of elements here is limited intentionally as it should be based on the feasibility of how much time you're gonna have, right? This is, if you've got one to two hours, this is, this is all you're gonna be able to accomplish. And you're oftentimes gonna be asked to present to show up in very short notice, without a lot of context, without a lot of understanding of the industry, okay? So if you're asked to attend a client meeting in short notice, this would be the type of preparation you might attempt in that limited time that you have available, okay? So some items here you might include. Industries of operation, geography, where are they headquartered? What do their financials look like? Let's go pull their 10K report and look at it. Who are the key executives? What are their business units? What's their market position? What do they sell? Who are they competing against? externally. You might look at some of their news uh, announcements, press releases. You might look at some of their products and technology and service offerings. Uh, we might want to look at customers and segments that are to be addressed, right? So a assimil assimilation of some of these basic uh, preparation elements really should be considered critical, mission critical, essential prior to any uh, engagement with a, with a customer or client, okay? Now, sometimes we have a lot more time available. Okay. With a detailed preparation, uh, this typically extends 
the total preparation time between a half day or more, four to eight hours, okay? So this level of detail and the time allowance that you're given is gonna allow you to go a lot deeper, okay? And this can be quite exhaustive. Eight hours of prep, people are like, wow, I gotta spend eight hours doing research on a customer, at least in some cases, right? And you can go quite deep here. I'm looking for strategy and vision, right? Strategy, vision, and objectives of the company. I wanna look at the, the, the company's history. What are they doing over time, right? What's been the response from the market? Um, notable industry trends, okay? What's going on around them? What's happening with customers, okay? Where are they selling their products? Do they have anything new? Look at their R&D. What's on the horizon? What are they forecasting that's coming, okay? What's their strategy? How are they selling? How are they positioning themselves in the market, okay? What about customers? Case studies, we talk about case studies. What about customer testimonials? What do customers think of them? And then we might take an even longer look at the financials. We might read the whole 10K at that point, two, 293 pages or whatever it is. It's long. So assimilation, assimilation of these detailed elements will provide a much more thorough overview of the client's business and the surrounding context. And that's what they're looking for. Do you understand our context?